started off by picking the warrior class because it gives you the double scimitars, one of my main weapons during the run. I paid a quick visit to the homie Kenneth Hyde. Just like every Elden Ring run, there's a lot of prep you have to do before you can get to killing bosses. I gathered the physic, warped to Kaelid so Melina could teleport me to the round table hold, picked up a Sunburst Spinning Stone 9, killed this Scarab for a Sunburst 8. Goodbye. Picked up one half of the Dactus Medallion, Redagon Sorcil, the other half of the Medallion, and killed this Godric Knight for the Bloody Slash. My main objective was to get to the Altus Plateau as soon as possible, so I went to Lyurnia, picked up the Academy Key, activated the Academy Grace, and went to Altus. I killed this Scarab for the Bloodblade Ash of Boar, picked up the Amber Star Light Shard for Selvus' questline, I went to kill Kreia for levels, burn off for his armor, I gathered the Spinning Stone by burning 1 and 2, so I could level my Bloody Scimitars to plus 12, Next I went to kill Margin. The strat with the scimitars is very simple, you just do jump attacks and nothing else. As you can see it's working like a charm. I wasn't really worried about getting hit since I was so over leveled at this point. Now that I got the second talisman pouch, I went to kill this clear knight for the wing sword insignia. <laughs> In Stormvale, I picked up the iron bed blade, the misery cord, and the claw talisman. It. Next up was Godric. As you can see, I had the rock slink here because I used it earlier to cheese a death bird in Kaelid to acquire the death spoker, but I didn't end up using it during the run. After Godric, I took down Chattagon's dog, picked up his talisman, and killed his ex-wife. With two shard barrels down, I could get the third talisman pouch and enter Maybe lane down. This so I don't mess up. The dragon retreat sentinel didn't stand a chance. After about 10 minutes of farting, I got bored, so I finished him normally. Next up was Gold Godfrey. Jumping is really, really effective against his boss so it made the fight really easy. After this, I completed Vari's questline. Thank you. Now that I was in Mogwin Palace, I did some good old room farming. Okay. I think it's this. So you do that. Yes. Any time now. There we go. Thank you. I killed a few trees. There we go. Yeah. There we go. I went to Mount Galmir and picked Azur. up everyone's favorite spell, Comet Azur. Thanks. Nice switch to the Misery Cord I picked up earlier and used Flame of the Red Mains to defeat Radon. I used the Misery Cord because it has the highest critical stat in the game, and with Flame of the Red Mains, I could break Radon's posture very easily. What? There we go. Oh, 
Nice. I spoke with Alexander, then went to EG to buy some Bushmilling Stones. You need to basically complete Ronnie's questline if you wanna kill Astal, so I went to Karia Manor and killed Loretta. I entered Celebus' dungeon for his questline. Spoke with Ronnie, then Celebus. And I gave his potion to Gideon. Now I went to the Academic Crystal Cave, I killed these two Crystallians, and I picked up Terra Magica for my Comet as their build. After this, I headed to Nocron and eliminated myself. I finally finished Salovis' questline, went back to Rhea Lucaria to pick up the Graven School Talisman, then I killed the Nox ladies in Celia and picked up the best staff in the game. And now that I had everything for my Comet as their build, I respected into an int build. Or at least I wanted to, but then I realized I didn't have the Cerulean so Hidden tier, so I went to Mount Galmir and farted on a tree. <laughs> and now, it's finally time for some BS. Alrighty. Let's bust it out. With Morgoth done, I could not go to the Forsaken Depths, so I did just that. I jumped through a couple of illusory walls, activated the grace in the deep root depths, but this build wasn't gonna work for Fia's champions, so I went and killed bosses that the build actually fit. Picked up one half of the Helix Tree Medallion, killed this NPC near the Shaded Castle for the Ansper Rapier, the weapon I used to kill Fire Giant. I'd say the double scimitar build is much better for Fire Giant, but I never use this weapon, I wanted to try it, mainly because it causes some scholar buildup. I was rocking an arcane build for this fight and used Seppuku on the rapier. After that I gathered the other half of the Helix Tree Medallion, made my way to the consecrated snowfield, burned another tree and lit some candles. Made a quick pit stop in the Helix Tree and then I fought everyone's favorite boss, the Godskin Duo. For this fight I used Mogwin's Sacred Spear. Killed Alexander for his talisman, and it was time to kill Malekith. I used Flame of the okay, Red once again. I tried to do Bloodborne Ritual while he was staggered, but I ended up just going for Repos instead. That was a way better strategy. That's nice. Mama has got no poise. Wow, this is no fair. Now that the capital is covered in ash, it was time for the all knowing bastard.
Max that kill for us champions. <laughs> I advanced run his quest line a bit so I could fight for the sacks. The Great Spirit isn't ideal for him, but at this point in the game you just do so much damage you don't have to worry about anything really. After 40 sacks, I killed Astel, fucked his boss, I hit him. Next, I absolutely destroyed the deer. Let me cheese. Yes. I remember Rykard existed, so I quickly took care of him. The game literally put the best weapon to deal with him in his arena, so just pick it up, leave, level it to plus 10, and this fight becomes a cakewalk. After Rikard, I decided to go back to my original build, so I gathered the Raptor's Black Feathers from the Sage Escape and Millicent's Precises from, well, Millicent. Plus, I do sex didn't stand a chance. Just to show you how broken this build has become, here's the Uncut Helix Real Loretta fight. Next I fought Horalu. Man, I love this boss so much. Please put him in the next Mortal Kombat or any other fighting game. He's so cool. With Horalu dead, I could go back to my Mogwin's Sacred Spear build for the remaining bosses. Lene is such a cool character, but this boss fight is dog shit, I hate it so much. Lord Miyazaki, please do something about her. <laughs> I was really close to dying, but with my immense skill I managed to dodge the waterfowl dance.
Thankfully she used Kala Ionia here and I could finish her off for good. Night was time for Cheddagon. Not much to say about Elden Beast. I just started to get a few hits in, go behind him, do Blood Moon Ritual. I got pretty lucky here because he usually goes for a spin, but he made it rain instead. And that's it. That's how you can beat Elden Ring without getting get. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Or you can dislike, I can control you. I also stream a lot of games on Twitch, so you can come and hang out sometimes if you want. Link is in the description. Alright, see ya.